What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 570. Managers with at least five direct reports. It's marked as medium, let's get into it. Let's go through our task. The employee table holds all employees including their managers. Every employee has an ID and there's also a column for the manager ID who they're getting managed by. Given the employee table, write a SQL query that finds out managers with at least five direct reports. For the above table, your SQL query should return John. Just John, just the name of the manager who has at least five direct reports. Let's get into coding. So if we take a look at this table, we only have one. We have that management relation of ID and manager ID, who's getting managed by whom. I don't think department is important here at all. It doesn't state that anywhere. So we're probably gonna look at ID, name, and manager ID. Um, we have a manager which appears five times in here in the example, which is manager ID 101. So that would be John and that's why John is the output. So we probably want to count how many direct reports each manager has for test cases. This is just an example input. And yeah, we would end up having five for manager ID 101 and then we kind of have to get their name, which could be a bit tricky because it says here, no one would report to himself. So if I want to group by manager ID, I wouldn't get the name for, for that manager because where the name of that manager is stored as an employee, there's no manager ID. So that could be a bit tricky, but let's start out by getting the count. So let's select count distinct ID to make sure we don't have any duplicates in here from employee and we want to group by manager ID. Okay, let's see what that gives us. That gives us one and five. I forgot to include manager ID to see what we're grouping by or counting on. So let's see how null is um, handled here. It's actually being counted here because it might be a string, but we have that count of five, four, 101, which is great. So we find out which manager is the one having at least five reports. And mentioning having, we're gonna use the keyword having here right now, because that allows us to filter on aggregate functions, our aggregate function being count, and say that count should be at least five because that's no problem, say at least five. Right now, I kind of just looked at the output and said, yeah, that's five. Five is at least five, but we would actually have to code this up, what, it, what would happen if it was just four or if there was another example. So let's put that in here and say it has to be greater than or equal to five. And then we can actually remove it from this output. And now we just get the manager that has at least five direct reports. There could be multiple, right? But here it's just one. Right, so that works. Now let's put that into a subquery because we're gonna use it later on. And now we just need to get John's name. As I said, it wouldn't be possible to look up his name in here because manager ID is null. For, for the entry where John is the name. So we're gonna have to use that as a kind of lookup. So let's select our name, which is what we want in the end, from employee where ID is the one that we get as an output from this table, right? That should work. So our statement basically evaluates to 101 for this entire subquery. I'll just type that out, 101. So we're gonna select name from employee where the ID is 101. That works. So if I change that code back, this is gonna give us the same result and we have, if we have multiple multiple managers that have at least five direct reports, 
we would have to use the in keyword, which would allow us to look at that entire set of managers in here. Let's say if our ID is in that set, in that list of managers that have that uh, condition fulfilled with at least five direct reports, then we put them all. So for this example here, this is going to work exactly the same way, but if we had multiple managers, we would have to use in. And that should be an accepted submission if we submit that, and that is already the entire problem. It has been kind of tricky to get around that problem of finding or looking up John's name, but that is something we often face for similar lead code problems. And then having could be quite advanced, but it's really, once you get the hang of it, you, you'll see where it comes in. And this one is pretty much yeah, a perfect example for that. It tells you to kind of count these direct reports and then that count should be at least five. So I think once you understand it, it's gonna be quite easy. And yeah, that's it for the problem. We could also not use having and use another subquery where we filter on that count of the subquery, then we could use where or not having. But that might even make it more complicated and longer. So I think I like this solution and that's what I'm going to leave you with. You can also check out my other videos on SQL lead code problems. I have an entire playlist on these problems and I even have ones filtered on the easy, medium and hard difficulty. Leave a subscription here if you want to get these in your subfeed and be reminded to study these questions and I'll see you all in the next video hopefully. Bye.